Oh, people, my name is Rage, and welcome it all back to Rebirth. And you know what? We're gonna do another Eden run, because A, I want to, because I love my godlike, sexy-haired friend who walks into a barber shop and goes, whoosh, whoosh, whoa. That sounded like I just had a little attack, and we've started with Monstro's Lung. So hold your breath, because we're in for a ride. Because holding your breath to fire Monstro's Lung, I know, and a sun card, and Dad's key. Overall, I think we're in for a chirping good time. And why chirping? Well, I think more things need to be based upon animal sounds. I don't think we say animal sounds enough. Either way, I'm doing another read and run because A, I want to, B, it will make me feel better, and a few of you guys to fully accept that Eden is finished and not in Judas's shadow form, and basically it's just all good stuff, and then we will have a go at the lost, but no, I am not going to stop doing that, ooh, bloodlust, awesome, okay, everything's going pretty damn cool here we got a good eden hairstyle for bloodlust as well i mean that is just by far the most important thing that could physically happen here oh there we go oh you survived eh i am most impressed boom 48 hour energy is actually kind of nice with dad's key but not so much on the first floor Either way, I will be doing a Lost, assuming I complete this run, and we'll see how we get with it. I mean, I don't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath. You know, I realise I did tell you to hold your breath earlier, but not for this case. You know, I have a feeling it may go horrifically wrong. Damn it, Spider, seriously! I know that you just want to be near me, and I don't blame you. Eden's looking pretty good today, but you need to really chill out. You just do. Oh, I'm so surprised I didn't get the spider. And there we go. And we do grab some bombs, which means that red chest, well, that red chest is definitely ours. Okay, well, that's convenient. Let's have a little look what we get out of here. We get a tarot card, and we get strength. I do like strength, but at the same time, I think the sun is just better. An interesting uh, shop choice there. The blank card with the sun is quite a powerful little synergy there, but at the same time, I don't think it's crazy necessary. And now that we've got, ooh, lovely, now that we've got Bloody Lust, we're definitely going to go in here, because obviously it means we can get a little bit of a damage up, as well as actually acquiring some extra health. So all in all, this first floor, I mean, I'm pretty pleased. I am pretty pleased with it. I guess I could go get the strength card just to use it on this boss, just to get some use out of it, but I feel like the time saved on killing the boss compared to the time to go get the card back and then go get the sun probably is about the same or honestly in favor of not doing that. So there we go. Boss gone and dead. Ball of bandages. A nice little orbital and genuinely one hell of a first floor. Talking of animal noises, and I'm going to, I think, imagine if we as humans took the Pokemon route on things. So you know how Pokemon are all named after the sounds that they make? So if a Pokemon like Geodude, you know, we discover it for the first time and, it, and we're like, oh, what's that rock thing with arms that's moving? And then it kind of looks at us and goes, Geodude. And we're like, ah, cool, let's call it Geodude. Imagine if humans did that, like cows would be known as a herd of moos. Horses, oh look, it's a stampeding neigh. It, <laughs> I just, I think that's a lot more fun. Oh, you've got a pet meow, what's her name? Oh, yeah, yeah, I own three woofs. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, a, I'm a definitely a woof person more than a meow person. I just think it's brilliant. Though I think it falls down a little bit when you start talking about birds, because birds all kind of just make screechy sounds. Though I guess you could have caws and cheeps and chirps and tweets and uh, shrill noises but then again what bird is that is it a chirp or a cheep or a tweet or a two 
I'm not sure. Let me consult my guidebook. Let's go in here, crack the absolute lame. Let's not do that. We'll use it once just for the effect, but that's about all. Honestly, that's cool. We'll say that we got Monstro's Lung in there. It's what I like to do on Eden. It basically makes me feel better about two terrible item rooms, assuming the items I started with on Eden aren't terrible as well. So what else would be? be? We'd have... Oh, fish would be difficult because they'd all be just kind of blubs. Yeah, actually, it kind of falls down even more at fish, because you could kind of get round birds, but yeah, fish, I mean... Oh, look, it's a school of blubs! Which blubs? I don't know, just blubs. Let's get a load of spiders and a load of flies. Open this and have a look, full visible map. God damn, I want it. Oh, yes, I, yes, I do. All right, let's hope we get suddenly loads of money, but I don't think it's going to especially happen. I'll be surprised. Oh, we don't actually have a bomb. Give me a bomb, please. Hey, Dingle Dangle. Oh, oh well, we actually got the bomb. And also, we got a little bit of bloody lust and two more spirit hearts. All is going pretty damn well. Hey, Pin. Vom. Yeah, the damage buffed up with Bloody Lust is absolutely fantastic. Whoa, over half his health with one shot. That's what I like to... Well, he didn't die. I really thought he would die there. We need to get some serious tears up, though, because this is quite ridiculous. Take the HP. We will charge up in case of Crampy Boy, and it's not Crampy Boy. Do I, do I, do I want to take the Devil Deal path? I think... I think I do. I think I do. We'll take Rotten Baby. I like Rotten Baby. I'm a fan of Rotten Baby. Let's rotten our way to victory. Because you've got to rotten. Maybe I should have gone and found a Kershum, actually. I was just getting a little bit ahead of myself, all excited with how good this run is going. We'll open you. And some troll bombs. So that's kind of lame. Though having Rotten Baby is especially good. Because rooms like this, it can just slowly clear out individual soft enemies that are far apart. So I don't have to constantly change charge up just for one kill because I mean that's just a waste uh, there we go I'll let the flies handle actually no I may as well do that one there we go and we actually do get a wealth of wealth which I do think is worth it the hermit would normally be useful but with dad's key we get to save on keys anyway so it's kind of fine the double champion there did just tank the hell out of that shot for the glory oh and then it and then it did that troll bomb just not affect those guys I guess they're actually immune to explosions, aren't they? Because they do form their own explosions when they fire. So that kind of sucks. I really thought he'd just, like, betrayed all of his comrades and they were just going to be like, No, Harry! How could you do this to me, Harry? How could you do this to me? I don't know why he's called Harry. It's a bit of a plain name for a monstrous creature. But still, I could see Harry the zombie being a thing. Come on, guys, run at me, point blank, shotgun! I love Monstro's lung for that. It really is just a straight-up shotgun at point blank, which is uh, wonderful. And we have a lot of health here, which is good, because it gives us a lot of a buffer to acquire some buffing from Bloody Lust. So I guess, really, Eden is very much destined to pretend to be other characters. We got a bit of Judas, now we're getting a bit of Samson, and, you know, who knows what's going to happen next time. Maybe we get Eve's Mascara and Dead Bird, and we pull our Eve on. Maybe we get... Although Mum's wig isn't actually Maggie's, so maybe we get Maggie's bow and the like of that. I'm dodging these shots quite well, and I'm not even really meaning to. Maybe I achieved... Zen level matrix dodging. Maybe that is. Oh, I really wanted to see if I could complete it by sneaking past that. Yep, now we're getting a bit of cane on. We're getting the lucky for Eden, man. Just accept that you can be your own character. You don't have to pretend to be the other Isaac Indians. If they are true friends, they will like you anyway, Eden. Oh, I feel so bad for Eden. I feel so bad for him. It's just. It's just so sad. It's just so sad. And whoop, there we go, that's key, have a look, PhD, kinda nice, I don't know why I'm talking in the whimsical way, though it is quite amusing to talk like that, you should definitely give it a try one time, oh, did they just kill themselves, or did something happen that I wasn't looking at, because it felt like those barrels exploded without my input, and I'm sure that they didn't, but at the same time, I have no idea what actually caused them to do that, so I'm, I'm kind of very confused here. I'll just let the flies... Oh, no, he walked towards me. I guess that is very convenient. 
Where is our boss? That's the question. You get there, and then I'll walk forward and destroy you. You fire, and then vum, and then... Uh, oh, I really thought the flies would take you out. Vum! Wow, he survived a full shotgun to the face? I mean, that is quite impressive, I have to say. I mean, respect to that guy. Boom, pretty fly. Lovely. One of the better pills in the guy forgot that they spawned things. In my defense, I don't... I'm an idiot. That was terrible. That was a terrible way to take damage. And I sh Ooh, that leg day very nearly attached itself to my face. Vom! Oh, kind of shouldn't have turned him immediately into a bigger threat than he started with, I'll admit. And vom, lovely. And we do get a devil deal. Let us go see what it is, crampy boy. How are you? I see your tactic. Lead me into a corner. Think, Make me think I'm going to get a big shotgun off. And then you do that. Lump of coal, however, is nice. That gives us quite the damage up on all of our monstros' lung shots. Boxer stuff. The star's kind of useful, but unfortunately we won't be taking it. Health down does suck, but not the end of the world. Alright, I guess... I guess we kind of just accept it then. I do want to have a quick look around the rest of the floor. So I'm going to stars all the way back over to here and just check what's going on. Is there really? No, there's no secret room there. That surprises me. And none here. Okay. All right. Definitely living up to its name on this floor. I'll accept. Yeah, our tears still look really small considering we have the coal now. And we're bloody lusted up. Although I've always thought that the coal does make your tears look smaller than they actually are damaging. So maybe it's just a trick of the light. An illusion. A uh, tricksy, mysterious thing of things. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Do I want to swap a bomb for a key? Not with Dad's key. Not really. I think bombs become more valuable when you can unlock damn near everything. And really, no other extra rooms on this floor. It's a sad day, a sad day, and still no secret room. What is life? What is life? Boom. Not there either. I, I demand a, I demand a retry. I demand a lawyer. I demand various things. I demand everything. I guess snakes would also be very hard to name under the sound they make system because they would all be hisses. They would all be kind of like, oh, I guess rattlesnakes could be rattle, rattle, rattle. Actually, they don't kind of make rattle, rattle, rattle sounds. If you accidentally went near a snake and you heard it go rattle, 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 you'd probably be like, that snake sounds like a chill snake. I kind of like that snake. And he's like, hey, Terry, my snake friend, check this out. I'm going to I'm gonna try something new. Rattle, 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 rattle. Oh, look, the human loves me. See, Terry? See, Terry? I told you I was a visionary. I told you I was going to revolutionize snake-human relationships for God. Now I just need to make it so. And then a deadly plot to assassinate the snake that would make everything better is born and there's nothing anybody can do nothing we'll bomb into isaac's bedroom i mean i feel like you shouldn't have to explode yourself into a bedroom potentially we can't need to injure ourselves so we get the free spirit hearts tech two tech two tech two tech two i think with a monstro's lung, I'm kind of okay, because for the entire time that I'm charging, I can be powering tech, and it's probably overall a damage up. Did I go into the bedroom before taking out the rest of the enemies? Because if so, that's kind of awkward. Not that it really matters. We do have the look for, so... Did I just take damage? I guess I must have walked on some creep. That kind of sucks. So with the look foot, we could definitely go to the arcade, but we've had such good shops so far that I've not been able to get. It's really irritating me, even with a wealth of wealth, which just doesn't even make any sense. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, it's times like these that I am very happy when I have something like technology. It might not be doing a great amount of damage, but just seeing it technically hitting everything at once, well, it feels good. And boom, especially against enemies that don't normally take a lot of killing anyway. Well, there you go. I guess we'll go in the curse room, see what is up. We'll open these first in case of a troll bomb to open this chest. Ah, it was okay. We get Guppy's head, which normally I'd be tempted 
Two, yeah, there we go. I had a feeling, actually. Normally, I'd be tempted to keep Guppy's head, but with Dad's key and the fact that we have Rotten Baby, I think we are definitely better served just getting rid of it. And no very lucky magic mushroom. Then again, it's not like I can really expect that. Wow. Honestly, I will accept a look down for a tears and speed up. I think that is definitely very nice there. There's a big part of me that is thinking, you know what, wouldn't it suck if the only mushroom you didn't explode had an item in? So I just gotta do that. I mean, I just, I couldn't sleep at night otherwise. I just couldn't. And I guess lizards also would had to be hard to categorize because they basically don't make that much sound at all. And even then it's kind of hissy again when they're mad. So yeah, maybe my, maybe my system only really works for mammals, I guess. But still, we need a more pokey world. We do need a more pokey world. Ooh, all right, we'll take boomerang tears. I have a feeling, yeah, I kinda like that. Because of the coal, they do get a distinctly large amount of power when they head back towards me. And if they reconnect with some enemies, they're actually, yeah, I like that. That worked out. We'll open our way into the shop very shortly. Boom. Oh, if only it killed the ones at the end and then boomeranged back. That would make me very happy. Hello? Hello, Greed. Wow, that was a very precise shot of uh, Monstro's lung there. That kind of makes me happy. And with Wealth of Wealth, this is going to be a lot of extra money. Oh, only a chest. I wanted some spirit hearts. and Instead, we get a troll bomb. That just upsets me. That just upsets me. We are making fairly good time, so we must definitely be quite powerful. Though, I have a feeling we're going to need a significant upgrade if we're going to start thrashing our way through the chest and the like. Run towards... Oh, he's going to fire. He's going to fire. Do we get an item? No item! What? And Chubb! Alright, Chubb's gonna be absolutely A-OK, -okay, especially with the laser constantly passing through him. Now, I know Tech 2 does come with a damage reduction. I am aware of that. I just definitely think it's worth it when you are rocking Monstro's Lung. I also wish Dad's Key really genuinely opened Devil Deals and the like, because that would just be such a great use for it. Granted, it's already a pretty stellar item. I just want it to be more stellar. Range Up is actually, for once, really nice. Because, actually, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? What is my life? My life, what is it? I've just realized something, and yes, you guessed it, it's that I'm an idiot. Assuming this works. If it doesn't work, then I'll both be really happy, but also really sad. Kind of want to give that beggar enough money to get something. Boom! See what is just, you know, ow! Oh, I nearly walked away from this. Yeah, I'm going to get contract from below, and honestly, I'm going to grab Sacrificial Dagger as well. I think that is very worth it. What do you have? A Troll Bomb? That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's mostly okay. And then we're basically just having the boss of the floor a second time, so whatever. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. That was the best shot you have ever seen. And there we go. Who's next? It's Peep. Really? That's quite a brutal boss rush. I feel like I would have remembered a peep rush being a thing, but apparently my memory is absolutely shocking. I do tend to have shocking memories, though. You guys know this. No, I just have shocking memories, traumatic even, from my youth. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad, actually. So, yeah, I'm glad I remembered that I'm an idiot and went to claim this. So, now that I've done this... Ooh, 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 ooh monkey sounds! That now gives me the ability to mousy on over back to Isaac's bedroom, and because I don't have any red hearts, in theory... My hypothesis is that I should now accept and claim three spirit hearts for a quick nap, a quick lie down, a quick rest. I do love the image of him just having a quick nap on the job. It makes me happy. And then finally, we are going to go use the beggar and maybe get a HP up. So all in all, I think I pulled a blinder on this floor. We've got triple, triple orbital actions, two of the better orbitals in the game. Pretty fly, I do like you, but uh, you know, you got to admit, you're not, you're not the best. 
And we'll blow that up. Careful not to actually kill our beggar friend. Hey, I've released you. How did you even get behind these rocks? That's what I'd like to know. How did he even end up in this situation? And also, how did he think that it would resolve itself if he just kind of sat there and did nothing? These are all very important questions and one that I think we really do need to ask this guy. I'm happy with giving him lots of money, mainly because we got wealth of wealth and we don't have that many shops left. And we've got some okay stuff. It depends what this tarot card is. Not that we'll probably give up the sun for it. Really, are we not getting an item out of him? Well, sunk cost fallacy, we're going. And it's a portable, goddamn. Ooh, we did get justice, so I think that is also very good. We actually can't get to that item. Not that I want to get to it, so whatever. Alright, good. We squeezed a lot of extra sudden power out this floor, and this very much pleases me. Oh my god! I just remembered. Queens vexing six princes, jokers, uh, yokels, geezers, and zebras. That is like, that is what a hell of a guest list if you are throwing a shebang. I like calling a party a shebang. It gives it a kind of, kind of just a nice little essence, I would say. Essence of niceness. Ooh, a bit of poly -pa -poly, -pa poly action. It's not the best. Not the best. And I didn't even get to hit him there, so that's really good. Boom! There you go. Look, you got hit. I'm excited that you got hit. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to kill Paul of Bemis, and I certainly like it. Oh, and there is the little worm thing. It's the worm thing. I keep doing that, but I don't know why. I think there's a good... I think there's a lesson to be learned there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Calm. Everybody. Everybody calm. Everybody calm. Please, I require the hearts to die. Why aren't the hearts dying? Nobody knows. Even with cross room damage, this room is still brutal, and I am very, very upset. Why is my damage so low? Is it just me? Or is Bloody Lust not raising my damage, like, at all? Because it genuinely, it feels like that. It really, really does feel like that. And that's kind of concerning if Bloody Lust is just not working. Surely it does work with Monstro's Lung. Granted, I've only got hit once. Ooh, a bit of double trouble action. That worries me. That does definitely worry me. And there, they're on the way, they're on the way, there's one more, and boom! Okay, that was scary, but I got through it. We do have our boss, and it's Necro 1. We miss Boss Rush now, and again, we certainly weren't boss rushing with this setup. And one black heart is okay. We'll have a look in this shop, and a spirit heart battery. Yeah, we'll just get that. I mean, I could get the battery, because we have a two-charge item. That's kind of useful. In fact, you know what? I will get that battery if I end up acquiring the money to do so. Whoa! That was one of those moments where we both walked into the room, acknowledged each other, and have this very quick stare down of who's going to react first. And then we both pulled our guns at the same time. That was a real sort of, like, western standoff that I just had going for me. And I'm kind of kind of pleased. I'm, I'm very... Very kind of pleased with it. Is Technology 2 a 40% damage down on everything you get? Or is it a 40% damage down when you pick it up? And then from then point on, you can sort of mitigate the effects a little bit. Because I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we'll pay one key to open up two chests. Just because even if we don't get the key... And there we go! Suddenly, a lot of replacement money. So this is... Excellent. You boom and then boom and then boom! Saving so many keys. Sissy long legs! Yes! I'm not even upset that, you know, technically speaking, not the best item in the world. I'm just happy to A, have a sauce of flies. And yeah, damage still not visibly gone up despite another hit. I'm looking at you, bloody lust! Have you forgotten what you do? I feel like you've forgotten what you do, and that's. That's bad. No one should be that forgetful. That is quite ridiculously forgetful. I'm going to blow this up just because it's two skulls and I just got one of those feelings. And... Card against humanity. I mean, as much as I want to use that and go digging through poop for ten minutes, I think maybe I can get away with not doing. I do want to find a curse room, however, and see if I can acquire some goodies there. We'll check for a secret room here. Not with Dad's key, because I want to save the charge for something like a rush, assuming I can't get in. Though I don't think there is actually anywhere I couldn't get in here, so that's probably fine. Whoa, one of them managed to survive? What is this trickery? What is this? Who goes there? 
And the boomerang bomb actually very much sorted him out. So boomerang bomb, yes, boomerang bomb. Boomerang bomb is kind of good. Speed up is also kind of good, and you, I not. Just a load of money, which honestly normally would be great, especially with Wealth of Wealth, but we've only got one shop. Granted, we are now going to completely buy out that shop because we have no reason not to, but it's not the best shop in the world to buy out. So I am a little bit disappointed in that respect. And double keys, again, kind of good. We're definitely going to be going chest on this just because we kind of need the power. Yeah, my boomerang bombs just kind of messed up that a lot, didn't it? And a black heart, so that's nice. We'll blow up this pair. Did I just get another? Yes. Chaos card. Chaos card. Which means we're going to sun this floor just so I can keep it because we now have an Isaac is going to die ticket. And that's good. I guess we'll go down there and see if there's special rooms. I cannot remember if the sun actually does reveal special rooms. So that's why I'm, I'm going to get my investigation on and see if I can't Sherlock my way out of here. Unfortunately, I wish I had boomerang and cement. That way they could boomerang off the walls and still, oh my god. Okay. All right, all right, just keep powering through this one as soon as we kill one. Yes, there we go. There we go. The spiders are working on the others. Yeah, only one hit in a room full of Mask of Infamies. You know, that's all right in my book. Okay, so clearly there is, good God, these things. These goddamn things. And he ran into the boomerang. Lovely. Cool. So we are ready to go to the boss, but I'm also kind of concerned. I mean, it is still Necro 1. So, oh yeah, it's Necro 1. I should have used the Sun card on the boss. I just kind of assumed I was on Necro 2 for no real reason, actually. And we do have a double trouble. I kind of would like Double Fallen for the Devil Deal item, but at the same time, Double Fallen is quite the difficult challenge when you are... Oh, Double Haunt? I'm kind of okay with Double Haunt, I think. I don't think that should be that ridiculously challenging, especially as I do have the ability to black heart them all away completely deliberately, tactical damage, and I thought I'd just walk into the haunt. Since when can you walk into the haunt while he's removing his hood? Because it's totally his hood. It's like he's, it's like he's wearing a hoodie and he's like, alright, you what, mate? You kill my friends! I'ma get you! Do we not even get a devil deal? We don't even get a devil deal? Whose idea was this? And I'm basically actually picking up stem cells mainly for the shot speed, because it's kind of helpful with Monstro's Lung. That's the day where you're picking up stem cells not for the HP. God, what is- what have I- what have I just- what have I been reduced to? A gold chest? Oh, I'm tempted, because of course Cricket's head, but I don't think right now. I don't think right now. I do like that I have moderately good fly and spider generation, which does increase my damage output by a lot, especially as it just generally kills stuff for me, so that's always nice. But I don't know, I just feel like we're killing everything just a little bit too slowly for me to feel comfortable. It might be one of those runs, but at the same time, it's also kind of exciting because at any moment, we could certainly, lovely, we could certainly suddenly become Ridic level powerful. So it's just, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. I kind of, all right, that was, that was quick. I think I am, ooh, a spirit heart. I think I'm going to take Maggie's Faith just because it's a superior thing to have right now over the Wealth of Wealth. Just because I have so much money, it just... It just doesn't make too much sense to me to keep stockpiling it. Oh, fly love! Yay! Fly love! Fly love! Although now I look very, very, very stupid. And that's worrying. That's very worrying. Well, it's not worrying. It's not like I'm going to get to a boss who's going to be like, Oh no! You look so imbecilic! I'm not even going to fight you. You just lose the run right here and now. Ha 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 ha! So, you know, maybe I'm overacting a little bit, you know, like, you know, turning up for a test without wearing trousers, that kind of level of, no, I just want to use as much bombs while the room is still active as possible, just so I get a nice amount of value out of actually exploding these and acquiring the things. Ooh, a rune. What rune would it be? Passage. 
not actually too good. I'm kind of happy, though, that we did get not actually too good a rune, because it would have been a really difficult decision to choose between the greed of something like Jera and the guaranteed safety of being able to one-shot Isaac. I don't think I would have been able to resist the greed, and knowing me, that would get me kill. Item room, please! Uh, bottle of pills kind of sucks, despite having fairly good pills on this run. I still would much prefer Dad's key, especially especially as it gives us the option to skip rooms on the chest, which I think is a very, very powerful thing. I mean, we did technically just black heart every single spooky ghost there, so it was annoying to take damage, but it softened this room up very nicely for us, and there it goes down. Look down, speed up. We're getting a lot of speed ups, which makes me happy. So I may as well finish exploring the floor. There's no point just jumping into the mum fight. Oh, we actually got a secret room here. I didn't even notice. Oh, good. More money. Though it does mean that the shop is going to be fantastic now. Like, really, really fantastic. Hey, guys. That's a room full of very, very annoying enemies, but that's okay. And two more keys. We've not really spent that many keys, like, the entire run, which is uh, really good, but it's a little bit typical. We'll open this. I'm just, at this point, this... Oh, no, we got him. We got him. I was, like, very tempted to just go in the shop and then just skip this room twice, but I guess maybe that's just me being lazy. But it is kind of an annoying room. It's difficult to navigate, though, again, my laser giving me a lot of value. Well, this kind of sucks. I guess we're taking the key. Hell, we're gonna buy a ladder. That's that's how that's how awesome this is, and we're gonna buy a battery for free. So, yeah, fantastic shop there. I think we can all agree. I think we all definitely learn a lot of things from that shop. I do want to go find a devil room, so I'm gonna at least do that. I know I could use the blood bank load for some uh, potential uh, bloody lust action. But again, I'm paranoid that for some reason it does actually count towards devil deals, the damage you take from that. So, kind of not wanting to. Hello, gurglings. There you- Whoa! I thought you would just be dead. I'll admit, I thought you would just be dead. Don't try and kill sissy. Imagine if your familiars could die. That would suck. Actually, I think you can have stuff like that. Oh, health up and then health down. All right, so it was a health up because it was a health down. So I guess that's still kind of useful. Two hearts is just better than one. Arguably, zero hearts is better than one, but definitely two is better than one. Unless you are Eve, I guess. Unless you are Eve, because then you got to get your whore on. I don't know why I said it's so Scottish. I just think a lot of words are best said in a Scottish accent. Like, bastard. It just, you know, it's, it's got a nice ring to it. Oh, yeah, we do have the ladder. So I guess rooms like this get a little bit easier, but it's just, it's not that worth it. And, yeah, so as it turns out, nothing good going on in the rest of this floor, which is really lame because I was very much hoping for at least some more guppyage because getting guppy would be awesome here. All right, let's have a look at you. Uh, just a troll bomb and some money. So I guess, wow. Dad's key can't break you out of a boss rush? I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it should be able to. There's nothing that Dad's key should not be able to open. I feel like I've just been lied to all of these years. I've just been, I've just been messed with and, and tortured and mentally devoured and monstro too. Let's get some orbital damage on you. I don't know why that was a song or, that rhymed, but I'm actually kind of really happy that it did. And we'll get some damage with our... Bomb action. There we go. It's gonna be doing some more jumping. Do another laser. Oh, that's not a laser. I guess I actually need to keep remembering that I do have tears. I keep just like, no, I'm only lasering. That's all I'm doing now. I, I just laser. I, I don't believe in a non-laser approach, you know. I don't believe in it. I don't know why I went a little bit Welsh. You're a bit breathy. That's all, all I can say in a Welsh accent is breathy, which really isn't that useful to blending in. I don't think I could communicate entirely with the word breathy. And more money that we certainly don't need, so I'm going to leave that there. And another room that was just pointless to visit. I'm upset. I am definitely, definitely upset. All right then, mother. I'm, I don't, I don't get why it's been half an hour. Because it feels like we've had a fairly powerful-ish run. No rooms have really been like, oh no! Yet, we seem to be taking forever to kill everything. So this is it's a very confusing experience. Get some orbital action in there. Maybe some orbital action in there. Some there. I just want to use everything to maximum ability just because it makes... Did he just... 
triple orbitals of this quality, and that dude just got a nice little easy shot. So we actually killed Mum very, very quickly there, and we grab a devil deal. Please be glorious! Yes! What is up? What is up? Two pretty flies as well. That would have been great. We may as well get Gimpy just because we're going to be spending them on a mouthful of scythes. One of the best synergies in the game. And they are boomeranging, which means their piercing is extra super mega effective. I don't know about you guys. But I'm excited, and I just, I just, I just, I just, I can't hide it. I'm about to sigh for bitch, and I think I'm death. That's my lyrical change to that song. And, uh, and calm down, everybody. Boom! Oh, that is very effective. I don't know why I felt the need to wait that long to make that happen. I was just trying to get maximum value, because it does take a good year to charge one of these... Uh, Shops up. Oh, you can't cross corners with the ladder. That sucks. That really sucks. Are you serious? Like, what is the point of having triple orbitals if you still get hit by shots? I think I think something was lost in translation there. That's all I could say. And... Vom! Wow. Well, I see. Uh, you're very lucky that those orbitals blocked your shot there. Or I would have been very, very upset with you. And I know, I know that triple orbitals aren't infallible. I do. I really do. Rules card. Chubbless like smoke. And a piece of paper is your guide. Ah, the hint to unlocking lost. That would have been glorious. Ooh, it didn't actually kill him. Oh, then he just arrived on a spider and died. That's that's a life lesson for you guys. If you're going to arrive, don't do it on a spider. Because you might die. And we already find the boss. That was very stupid. I got I got extra scared for some reason of this blob. And then felt the need to just run into my death. Like a very, very clever individual. Okay, who is our boss? The Fallen. Who actually, with this kind of attack, is going to be a fairly competently easy boss to destroy. Yeah, there. Mum's knife. Huh. Mum's knife. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get a HP up there and can't take Fear Shot to add to our damage. I have a feeling that Mum's Knife would ruin this synergy. Would it, though? I, I'm so confused right now. I genuinely do not know what Mum's Knife would do to Monstro's Lung and Death Sives. I just... I have no idea. Would it just turn this into a normal Mum's Knife run, or would I fire a mouthful of knives? I feel like this has come up before, but I can't quite remember. I am going to say, and I accept I could be completely wrong. You guys will have to let me know. You got the knowledge. I think two things. A, it will replace everything and it will be a normal mum's knife run. And B, that will be a stronger run than what I currently have. However, C, so three things, Monstro's Lung Sives is way more fun to me. So at the risk of losing this run... Based on the information I think is correct, I'm going to leave Mum's knife and keep using a mouthful of scythes. So I hope you guys can understand my thought process there. That's that's really all I can say. <laughs> I just like having a mouthful of scythes too much. It's just too good to risk it breaking. And I know it would break because it, it would be a thing that people have talked about if you could have a monstro's lung amount of... Mum's knives come out your mouth whenever you fire. Like, people would have been talking about that. So, I'm going to assume that it is, in fact, not true. Well, this is a very delicious room to have ridiculous range and uh, boomeranging scythes. I mean, look how effective that's being. And then it's slowly coming back. There's another one. Oh, I can actually fire another one before the first one has fully returned to me. That suddenly makes this very powerful. I guess we'll unlock one of them. Oh, no, it completely unlocks them. That's interesting. And we grab ourselves a gold chest containing naught but a key. Normally not something I'd be too bothered about, but as it stands, not something I really need. So that is all okay. Oh, we did actually unlock a secret room as well, so I suppose I should get it. I guess. And just more bombs. Great, I do need more bombs. I'm definitely needing those bombs. 
Oh, I'm just so apprehensive. I mean, if it wasn't for the Chaos card, which I still, quite frankly, don't know how I've even managed to get this far without losing it. I'm normally very, very good at losing Chaos cards. Hey, we grab ourselves a free HP up. That is nice. The more health, of course, we can get to, the better in this run, because the more we have two double key rooms on one floor, that's a thing that can happen. Since when is that a thing that can happen? Wow, that actually got both nubs. That's really cool. Should have actually just used Dad's key there. Two gold chests, nothing in that one, and again, nothing in that one. That kind of sucks. We could re-roll our entire run here, but I think that would be very, very pointless. I don't think a six is the savior we're quite looking for here. He's, he's not Batman level, is the six dice room. That's what I'm saying. Okay, down. Maybe, maybe down. I mean, we do have ourselves a tinted rock here, so this might be good. Yes, indeed, that is what I would consider good. Hell, honestly, I think at this stage, that is better than the small rock, just because that one damage up's not going to do a crazy amount as it currently stands, whereas getting two extra hits, again, to translate into the damage of uh, Bloodlust, which I'm still a little bit convinced is just not effectively doing anything. Oh, I kind of got caught on my own ladders there, which is a little bit awkward. Yes, walk into my boomer ranks. That was close. That was close. Those scythes returning really just saved my bacon, and I just hate it when my bacon is lost. So, all in all, I'm happy. Um, cool. Calm down. bah -ha! You thought you could pop- I don't know what that was. bah -ha -ha -ha! That's now how I laugh, guys. I've, I've confirmed that's now how I laugh. bah -ha -ha -ha! That's like a real anime villain annoying laugh going on there. Actually, I'm kind of happy to have been able to produce something anime level villain related. 40 air energy? I mean, it's it's key, so that's not going to be that effective for us. I genuinely thought that he would be dead before connecting with us, which I realize now was definitely a mistake. But it's a mistake that I had to make to realize my true mistake of, of being mistakeful and other Things. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but that's okay. Oh, and the Scythe's doing their job. My orbitals should also be doing quite a job. And yeah, it's basically perfectly boomeranging on top of it lives. So that's just very effective. Whoop! We want to dodge the machine gun turret of bullets. Chubb should get absolutely annihilated by the Scythe's. Yep, there we go. And we did get hit by one damn laser, but it was one of those we don't really have a choice to get hit by because the shots were still in the air. So it's just like, a, I choose the hammer or the anvil, the rock or the hard place, the evil or the lesser evil. And we are genuinely gaining a lot of health due to Maggie's faith. I think it's, I think it's a really undervalued uh, trinket here. Oh, hello, death. You have been quite naughty recently. That's all I'm saying. That was really worrying. Can you please just die? Like, I just... Can you die? Like, why have you not moved to horse phase? You've, like, got hit so many times by so many sides, and now I'm really scared. There we go. We're on horse phase. I just love myself the horse phase. Don't summon things that... No, what did I just say? I said don't summon things, and what do you do? You immediately summon things. I just don't know if I can trust you anymore. I think you have just broken my trust well and truly. What we got in here? Single gold chest. No. It's not worth three bosses on the cathedral. I mean, obviously, if someone told me it was totes for shizzle, cricket's head in there, I would reevaluate my position on that being worth it. But given our gold chest track record, I'm not allowed cricket's head in so long that I'm just, I'm going to forget it even exists as an item at this point. And please die, war. Yeah, our damage, not the guest. Broken remote. I mean, we could teleport every time we dad's key. That might be okay, because honestly, Maggie's faith is pointless now. Like, it's really pointless, because we don't have another floor to claim a bit of health on. This is the final one. So I think being able to spam teleport around with a two-item recharge is actually kind of good. I really want to get an item that's a one-room recharge with teleports. I think I may have had that before, but I'm not completely sure either way, so I could be completely wrong. I've been known to occasionally 
been wrong before. You might not have noticed, but I have. And this actually should be easy. I was tempted to bomb skip this room. All right, that's that's too much of a sign. That bomb fly perfectly drifting over there and then allowing me to skip that room. I mean, if I needed a better sign that I need to skip that room, I don't think you can find it. This is a little bit worrying. We are going to come from there now. That's okay. And the boomeranging tears. Yes, there we go. I guess this one isn't a champion, so he is significantly easier to kill. I keep failing my charge up, though, which does kind of suck. Vistula! That was incredible! That was absolutely incredible. I... Yes. That was incredible. I am I'm happy with that as a thing that happened there. That was incredible. So that's not even a way out. So I guess back to... Oh, Sloth. Okay. Sloth, I will definitely calm down. Definitely kill here. That makes sense. Can I go over rocks? No, I can't. I think maybe Monstro's Lung gets enough height to go over them at the perfect time. But I'm not actually sure either way. So I guess we'll just forget that. Bob's Rodden Head, not great. Would have much preferred a decent level tarot card. God, we've got so many pretty flies this run. That's absolutely insane. Okay, we got a beggar here, which I should technically go for. It's just I don't want to do it right now when I could take a load of random damage. Seriously, though, can I please just at some point maybe... I don't know, be allowed to not face Daddy Longlegs? Like, just, I hate him so much. Ooh, we actually haven't gone up. And there's a curse room there. And more sloth. I feel like this broken remote idea is good in principle, but as it turns out, it's just ruining this entire, just entire experience for us. And come on, die, 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 die. No, no more summoning either. There we go. Ooh, I'm excited. Two of spades. I was very excited, genuinely, I was, but as it turns out, not today. I would love to get into the curse room for free, that would excite me, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, I'd have to get exponentially lucky to pull that one off. I just want to get to Isaac, and I want to just goddamn throw a chaos card through his face. Like, is that just, is that just so, so unreasonable as a thing that I want to do here? Because I don't think... That is unreasonable as a thing that I want to do. I think that is a perfectly rational and competent idea and that I should be allowed, if I so wish, to put a Chaos card through Isaac's face. But apparently, both the rooms and Broken Remote are very much conspiring against me and this, I think, is absolutely... I mean, I just... I will not stand for it. I will not goddamn stand for it. And there's the laser, but too late, Monstro 2! Too late for you. Yeah, I think Isaac is... Wow, he's, he was literally right here. This is a very small, compact cathedral. Like, more than I expected it to be. So, there we go. Hey, Isaac, how you doing? There's the chaos card. Goodbye to you. So, if I went in the curse room, obviously I'd lose this HP up. So, I don't think it's entirely worth it. So, what I am going to do is, at the very least, go to the mob trap room and then grab the gold chest and then teleport out. Because I know if I don't do this, it will turn out to be Cricket's head. And because I am doing this, it's not going to be. But I at least have to make that decision. I also really want to give money to that beggar, but it's just trusting myself to successfully, successfully go between those spikes. And uh, do I really think that I'm going to be able to pull that off? Oh, okay, I got I got I got there. All right, that's good. I feel like I am gonna lose this HP up if I forget on the way out though So hopefully he just randomly gives me flight I don't think a beggar can physically give me flight, but I would certainly appreciate it something like a full visible map I'd also be very happy with we do grab a rune Maybe that's if that's Jera how freaking useful and a potential joker. All right this beggar I mean he seems so far oh, and another tarot card I'm I'm getting happier and happier that I have been doing this so far. This is quite excellent. Come on, keep giving me good stuff. Keep giving me good stuff. I require it. I require glorious things and a key. We'll grab the key. Come on, please. Just give me your item. I, I, I mean, I love all this stuff you're giving me, but I really do need the item. And of course, because I didn't pick up earlier, 
There we go. Oh, I took the damage. And we get vision. Two of hearts is kind of okay. The hermit's kind of okay. But no, a vision rune is almost as effective as the emperor on the chest as far as I'm concerned. So all in all, 100% successful trip. Let us go to the chest and see what is up. I'm probably going to keep my teleporty antics just because it will probably get me to blue baby. Does that even work? No. So that's upsetting. Oh, Cricket's head, Daddy's love, sad bombs, which I imagine are going to be ridiculous. Yep, that is awesome. That is very awesome. And Cricket's head, come on. Well, we technically doubled our damage, so I can't say no to that. Although it's kind of hard to know when I finish charging up now, so that's kind of awkward. Vom! Oh, that is wonderful. Vom! For some reason, I had a horrible suspicion that there was a daddy long legs in this room. I actually got really, really scared there. But then I realized it's my own item. I'm a moron. And a bit of gate action. This is okay. He shouldn't be too much of a problem. We do take a little bit of damage, but with bloody lust, assuming it is actually working, and consistent health drops, not having any spirit hearts and the like, it's just gonna be a damage up to keep taking damage like this. So that does please me. I may as well have a look in the next room, and if I don't like it, teleport. If I do like it, kill it. Alright, and I do certainly like it. So, all in all, this is pretty good, and we do manage to save Sloth for last, who gives us High Priestess, which is kind of nice. A bit of chub action. Let's teleport out of here. Not because I don't mind. I don't like loads of chub action, but I don't think that was the correct place to go. I mean, knowing me, I'm going to end up completing the entire chest because I'm not going to actually find the correct path, but that's okay. I mean, ooh, boom! Oh my god, that was satisfying. That was bloody satisfying. Talking of bloody satisfying, that is a lot of health to pour into Bloodlust. That is a lot of health to pour into Bloodlust. I'm going to do this because I was actually terrified of dying there. So let's just not do that. Oh, yeah, damage has just suddenly gone maximum. So maybe I just wasn't taking enough hits earlier. I guess that could be true. This path does look bossy in its nature. That was so satisfying, my word. And, oh, I wanted to take another hit on that creep, but unfortunately we did not manage to do so. Our damage is being pumped fairly nicely. Alright, I guess we will kill these guys and then teleport, mainly just in case they drop an item or anything like that. And... Chocolate bar. Wonderful. Hello? Ooh, a bit of dingle dangle action. Wow, he got absolutely destroyed. Actually, I guess Bloodlust is more prominent now because Cricket's head is giving it a massive boost. Strength card is what I like to see. Definitely a quality asset there, so that is good. And look how big our tears are getting with freaking uh, coal. The damage is ramping up so nicely. All right, down, please, blue baby. I need to find you. I just want to offer you a nice diplomatic solution. And hopefully I can take... Oh, I didn't take enough damage. That sucks. I just realized I have no idea where all that health is, so deliberately taking all that damage is potentially going to backfire really, really hard. I didn't think about that too much. That's kind of a problem. Though I am getting loads, and I mean loads, of heart drops. So, yeah, actually, this is fine. And boom, and boom. What are you? Range down? Eh. Doesn't really matter at this stage what's over here. Ooh, a lot of mega fatty action. And basically they're all dead. Quick, creep! Oh, I have never so desperately tried to stand on creep, I think, ever. So that's definitely an experience. And we'll fire up there just in case. Oh, wow, they're already all dead. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought there was going to be like four of them in here, but as it turns out, I guess, I guess no. Double lovers as well. Hey, blue baby. I want to take at least one more hit against that. May as well fully pump up our damage. And I think we are about to destroy blue baby. So all in all, I am very happy now that I did not get the mum's knife that we were offered. I'm very, very pleased uh, that we left it and had a mouthful of Scythe's run. Even the 
man, we're not destroying him that crazily fast. Although, to be fair, that's still quite powerful. So there we go, guys. Uh, boom, bumbity boom, and boom. Eden done. We'll have a bit of losty action next time. My name's been Rage, and like you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.